नमस्कार दोस्तों ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत न्यूज है आपको हमेशा जो हमारे लेक्चर्स में पॉडकास्ट लेक्चर्स लाइव लेक्चर्स रैपिड फायर लेक्चर्स और थ्री एम सेशन के साथ एक दरकार रहती थी कि सर बोर्ड पे हमें कुछ वीडियो क्लासेस प्रोवाइड कर दें खास करके ऐसे टफ टॉपिक जो बिना बोर्ड समझ नहीं आते जी हाँ दोस्तों आपके लिए एक्सक्लूसिवली अब से वीडियो क्लासेस भी अवेलेबल करवा दी जाएंगी हर किसी को वीडियो क्लासेस के थ्रू बहुत सारे जो टफ टॉपिक्स हैं लिटरी थ्योरी पोस्ट ह्यूमनिज्म कल्चर स्टडीज लिंग्विस्टिक इंग्लिश इन इंडिया या ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री या वर्ल्ड लिटरेचर के वो टॉपिक जो शायद बिना बोर्ड नहीं किए जा सकते अब आपको मिलेंगे वीडियो लेक्चर्स भी और जानते हैं दोस्तों इसका प्राइस क्या है कोई प्राइस नहीं है जो आपकी ऑनलाइन फीस थी वो वही रहेगी कोई बढ़ोतरी नहीं की गई है लेकिन अब हमारी तरफ से आपको वीडियो क्लासेस भी दी जाएंगी जुड़िए और जून में जे करिए गाइज वेन यू फर्स्ट टाइम हेयर द वर्ड इंग्लिश वॉट कम्स इन योर ब्रेन The moment you hear the word English, the first thing that comes in our brain is England. What if somebody says that there is a word called World English and there is a word called World Englishes? Have you ever thought there is a difference between World English and World Englishes? Yes, my friends. World Englishes is a term emerged from the localized English language, especially. the people who came from various countries who started using english language according to their use the study of world englishes is simply consisting the varieties of english used in diverse socio linguistic surroundings see people speak english in india people speak english in africa people speak english in australia but are we speaking the same british accent are we speaking those exact standards of language or we have indianized language we call it butler english that started in madras presidency or we call it babu english if you remember nisim ezkil wrote a famous work miss pushpa ts goodbye party to miss pushpa ts which actually mocks the babu english do you know english in different regions of the world has a different structure and this is the problem the issue of world englishes for the first time got raised in 1978 for the first time they realized that there are multiple types of english languages are being spoken and in 1978 they tried to find the regional englishes globally they tried to identify various kinds of english pragmatic factors such as appropriateness comprehensibility and interpretability justified the use of english as an international and intranational language even in india the way kashmiri speak in english the way malayali speak in english are two different things do you know right now there are 75 yes 75 big territories where english is spoken either as a first language or as an unofficial language we can call it language 2 so technically 75 places and moreover they have used english in their government sector education sector and law simply you can take the example of india our high court proceedings supreme court proceedings are being taken in english even in the exams of ugc net or any national level exam they give you both sides english and hindi and they tell you that in case you are not sure about in the language the english version will be taken as the final version do you know it's really difficult to establish the total number of englishes in the world we have multiple varieties new varieties are being constantly developed and people are still discovering new different different kinds of english languages the notion of world english world englishes are looking similar but they have differences the world english is english spoken by the britishers the first people who developed english but world englishes is simply referring the use of english language as a lingua franca or for business for trade for diplomacy in or across the world remember in one of my class if you have watched my live classes you must be knowing that i taught you that in haryana two planes they met an accident they collided in each other because they were not able to talk to the air traffic control in india in proper english they could not understand the guidance the codes and they had an accident in the skies of haryana see we talk about global english or the world english primarily english spoken by the britishers is the first language but then there are variants variants like indian english 
accent of Chinese in Chinese English. So that's called world Englishes. Now we are going to talk about three important circles where our Indian professor Braj Kachru he talks about three unique circles of English where the English has been spreaded around the world and is discussed in the term of different different groups. The first circle we have is inner circle. In inner circle, the language English which was spoken by, which was used by United Kingdom and United States, this comes in the first circle. In the second circle, second circle where English is known as a second language, a language for lingua franca, official language like Australia, India, Nigeria. We are the outer circle and then comes expanding circle. Expanding circle is like China and Russia. The countries which have their own first languages and are not even colonized to take English as a second language. Their first language is their own lingua franca, but they are just understanding it, just using it to be in the part of modern day business, modern day trades. These theories are called Braj Kachru's three circles of English. So remember this thing, my friend, they can ask you the questions in exam that English in India, English in Pakistan, English in Sri Lanka, can be added in which circle so inner circle outer circle or expanded one so remember the inner circle uk usa outer circle all the colonies which have their first language but use english as a second language like india pakistan sri lanka nigeria australia and all other colonies of england and the third circle is expanding circle where english is being expanded to russia china japan and other countries where primarily Neither they were the slave of England, nor they use English as a second level circle language. In short, make sure you remember three different circles. The concept is by Braj Kachru, which is studied in the first diaspora reference. Along with that, the countries of different different circles can be asked in exam. They can also ask you a question. They will give you three circles at one side, another uh, name of countries at another side, and they will ask you to match the following. For more details, you can also write down this thing that the total number of English speakers in the inner circle is 380 million and out of those 120 million are from United States only. In outer circle, as the language has become the part of the law, part of the education, higher education, national commerce and business, the number is more as our Indian population, South Asian population is more than USA population and UK population. And moreover, again, it is not 100% confirmed that how many people in India, Kenya, Malaysia, Pakistan, Africa, Philippines, all those which were colonized by UK or US, how many of those people they speak, but still it is believed that from 150 million to 300 million people speak English in outer circle. The next one we have is the expanding circle and it's really difficult to estimate especially because English may be employed for specific purposes there, but a lot of people don't speak in English from the expanding circle. Still, there is an counting and it's called 100 million to 1 billion people they speak. Remember this thing, they may ask you a question that which circle of English is the norm providing circle? Remember the inner circle is the norm providing system means the rules, regulations, grammatical structure comes from UK and USA. So they are the norm providing circle of inner circle English. Make sure you note down all these details and this is how you'll be prepared for your exam. The idea by Braj Kachru, the concept of world English, world Englishes and the norm providing system because we have one circle which is norm providing, another circle we have is norm developing and then the expanding circle which means norm dependent. So be ready for your exam and if you love the content, if you love this, you got a lot of knowledge, like it, share it, subscribe and share in your comments. Thank you so much.